Hey all, Tom here, and welcome back to another episode of The Garage. Today we are talking about the Corvette C8, the latest generation of one of the most beloved American muscle cars ever. It's been changed quite drastically. It is now mid-engined, and we'll be talking all about that and also the C8R in today's episode. So, and I'm, I'm hoping this information is for the road car, it is powered mid-engined, by the LT2. The official horsepower rating is 495 with, with 470 pound-feet of torque. It's not, not bad. And so with a fifth gear run by testers at Motor Trend, they recorded 558 horsepower and 515 pound-feet of torque at the wheels. At the wheels! That's a, that's a lot of underrating right there. But honestly, while the C8 is interesting. I just, I'm not a massive fan of how it looks. I think it being mid-engined is awesome. I'm 100% supportive of that. But, but I'm just not sure what, uh, how I feel about the looks. A lot of people have called it the Acura NSX, <laughs> a Ferrari or something like that. And I, 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 can, I can see where they're coming from with this, but I will say I'm, I'm especially excited for the ZR1 version of this because this so badly needs a wing. I do not like the way this looks with the factory wing and the, uh, I think it would just improve with a wing. And I, <laughs> I know a lot of you guys probably aren't a big fan of how I feel about wings with all my comments about the Bugani Huayra and how I don't like the wing on the BC Roadster and stuff like that. But this is in need of a wing, but thankfully, with the C8R, my prayers have been answered. The Chevrolet Corvette C8R. This, <laughs> if I had the money, I would buy this in a heartbeat. And I'm not a big muscle car guy, <laughs> but this, whew. So let's talk about the C8R and what we sort of know. It is Chevy's first mid-engine GTLM race car. <laughs> and it sounds like a Ferrari. With that said, I'm fairly certain it's got a flat plane crankshaft configured engine, which I, I think is awesome. I love, shut up mother nature. I love flat plane crank engines. I think they sound so much better than cross plane, unless if you're wanting to build a car from the 70s, I think that you need that V8 burble. But with race cars, sports cars, modern cars of today, I just, I love flat plane crank engines. High revving, that different note, that more exotic note, now, I, I could be a little out of date on the information with this, but uh, a lot of people were speculating it would be powered by the twin turbo flat plane crank 5.5 liter V8 called the LT7. 800 horsepower. Whether that's true or not, I, I know this is going to be no slouch, but whether that's true or not, you'd have to be crazy to complain. You'd have to be crazy to complain about this. I know that a lot of people don't like the, the C8 because it's either mid-engined, looks like a Ferrari or whatever. I mean, if you don't like it, just get a C7 or a C6. It's really not that hard. But I, I personally see this as progress. This is Chevy saying, we don't just want to be the best in America. We want to be the best in the world. And this is what it takes. And the result is pretty cool. 
What I'm, what I'm especially curious about is what engine is going to be going into the Z06 and the ZR1, especially the ZR1. Because if the flat plane crank twin turbo engine goes in either the Z06 or the ZR1, I might have to get one. <laughs> and I know it's going to be so expensive, but it would be the first Corvette I would be very, very interested in buying. And that's saying something. Because... As a kid growing up, and even now, I'm, I've always been more of a Mustang guy. Um, like Shelby's, the GT350, I really, really like the engine in that. But this is a good contender, a good rival. I, I, I want to see where this goes. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of The Garage. This one felt very short, a bit weird. Um, let me know what you think of the C8 and the C8R especially, because it's like a new generation of car and we are nearing the end of the era of the internal combustion engine. So I'm really hoping that even despite all the regulations and restrictions, when it comes to race cars, manufacturers let these cars go out with a bang. Not like a <laughs> everyone dies in a big ball of fire bang. Let, let's, let's save that for electric cars. We, we, we need to build some crazy, uh, ICE cars before we can because for the end of an era we need to make one last round of applause one last big noise that echoes throughout history for as long as possible so that people can appreciate what made these cars tick so thank you guys so much for watching I think I already said that and I will see you all in the next episode of the garage take it easy and keep it crazy